we are going to look, actually look at what happened after the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. We are also going to look at what is the latest updates regarding the, vis uh, the visas, the visa visas, then also what we call the working uh, visas, or what we call the employment visas. Then also we are going to look at what we call the job updates for people who need to, to really understand what is happening with the job updates. Then we are also going to look at for the vacations. The vacations, we are looking at people Hi guys, welcome back to Siano. It's Max from the Max Creation, or is trying to give you the update. In today's video, we are going to look at exactly number one. Let us try to look at what happened after the FIFA World Cup. Remember, we had the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 in this Arab country. That is from the 20th of November until 18 December. It was not an easy period for people who are in Qatar. You know exactly what it was. A lot of people, very many people were inside the country from across all the groups. Remember, at the same time, something that we cannot fail to talk about is the opportunities that were being created during what we call the FIFA World Cup Qatar. There are a lot of opportunities from all different angles that were created at that time. And most of those opportunities were mainly favoring what we call people being recruited out. I know most of you were being recruited out on what we call a six months or what we call a three months visa, which we call the, what we call the higher card or the higher visa that was strictly for what you call the world cup still also people were inside the country and they had free visas at one way or the other they also benefited in one way or the other in what you call the part time at the end of it all but our main focus is people who came into the country from wherever they came from from whatever country that came in to do what you call the fifa world cup jobs at the end of it all you know this was a tournament that was going to run for a few days remember from November uh, 20th until 18 December. Yes, that period got off. And what was what was the aftermath or what was it after the tournament is done? Remember, some of you when you're coming to the country, by that time, those people that came with what you call a three month contract or what you call the, the, the six month contract, you had what you call uh, contracts, you had a binding contract you had signed with those companies, depending on how or uh, definitely uh, the mutual understanding with either your recruitment agents or that people, that, that company that directly hired you from your country or from your country or agent with that kind of contract. So it meant that after the contract, either depending on actually what was part of the clauses in the contract, you either had to exit or you had to stay or they would give you NOC. For those people that were so lucky and were given NOC, the only other requirement part of you was to look for what you call an offer letter to make sure they can give you any NOC to stay in the country and look for the job at that time. So for those that were not able to secure the NO to secure the offer letter at that time, when given that opportunity from the employer, the current employer, Player, they definitely had to exit the country and go and some I think the last date would be January second where they'll be exiting I think by that time we shall not have any uh, any any anything that we are going to talk about any one of the FIFA World Cup uh, any fun because they have to exit out the country Still, something I really have to tell you is that people who had IDs at that time, or people uh, who got ID as a rigor as as a result of the FIFA World Cup job, we are so much lucky at one time because they had bigger opportunities in case they got. And so that was happening. So it means that. Yes, the opportunities we are created as people are coming in, but after the tournament, because the main reason why people are recruited, we are specifically for the FIFA World Cup. And this project, which we call the FIFA World Cup project, got off, done, or commenced, or came to an end. So meaning that partially part of the employed part of the workforce had to exit the country or to go back to what you call their uh, port of origin or where the uh, point of destination at one or the other. So meaning that very many people were, uh, were laid off or people were employed off at one moment of time. And something else you need to understand or you need to all know that uh, actually when you look at some of these companies, the projection for the FIFA World Cup was too big and most of the companies recruited the surplus labor force uh, uh, thinking that they would actually uh, utilize it or even uh, get greater opportunities. But however, things sometimes don't turn out 
how they are supposed to to be so meaning that some people had to exit those that had the opportunities to change or get anywhere or uh, any way out yes you're so lucky at that time and keep it and you're supposed to to move in one way or the other yes what is the latest updates so regarding visas? The latest updates regarding visa. There are no visas right now. There are no work visas right now. Even those people that are thinking of what you go uh, uh, calling what you call freelancer visa, it's a little bit very tactical and it's a little bit very hard. What I would urge you, any one of you, is please get try try to be a little bit resilient. Please hold on. Uh, it's, there's no way. There's no need of you panicking. You know, there's no need of you panicking. Remember, there are people out there that are waiting for you. Money, uh, that they are waiting to use the golden opportunity to lie to in and all the other. You definitely, the ammo advice would be that you had to hold on, please wait on a little bit until the situation normalizes. You remember, there's a lot of workforce that was recruited for. I, some companies expected to have what you call a boom at theirs and they do not most of them do not use what you call the labor force at that time so meaning that we still also have some some excess that was recruited uh, you remember not all companies recruited people for only three months or six months there are companies that we given a very a big quota that they go to recruit people like for 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 uh, a full work visa for example when you look at part of the security companies so definitely meaning that wherever in your company you are definitely you know there is what you call surplus labor at that time so meaning that they are not giving out visa quotas to the companies to recruit anymore until what is available is being realized so i'll add you to wherever you are for example you in kenya you in uganda you in nepal in bangladesh yes try to a little bit hold on until the normal the situation normalizes then everything will get back to normal and you definitely have to benefit again coming to the country yes number three we look at what we call the job updates yes we look at the job updates yet there may be a few job updates that are within in the country what you call the lock higher but apparently when we are looking at the whole analysis of the restoration we look at the job job hiring or what you call the work visas coming from out i told you it is actually if we can look at is one percent maybe to a few that may have what you call exceptional cases but to to right now you just need to hold on however something still also we need to know is that people who are inside the country if you're definitely inside and you still have that opportunity to work in that company please hold on hold on don't change the company right now the situation is not bad. It's not good. Remember that even in your company, there are ex people that are being recruited for what cup. So any slight mistake that you don't do in your company, then probably it's going to result in something that is, you're not going to, uh, to, to actually uh, accept when you don't even plan for it. Because most of the employers, some companies are trying to close down. Some companies are trying to lay off some workers. It's either laying off what you call the old workers or even the new workers. They are trying to lay off those workers in one way or the other because they cannot accommodate them M and M more. The main reason why they were here, it is done. It was the FIFA World Cup project. So meaning that for you who already has that opportunity within the country, please hold on, hold on. Hold the opportunity, build the opportunity, be obedient until the normal situation arises. And if you are planning to change right now, please better hold on a little bit because if your employer again notices that you are going to, you are planning to change or any or other, the best way is going to just buy for your ticket and it's going to make sure you exit or even at one way or the other. You may not even get wherever you have to go. So sometimes we don't invite certain kind of situations, but we see those kind of situations coming in, and we definitely we have just to be resilient and perseverance within the situation. Then we can try to accommodate it in one way or the other. So meaning that those that still have the jobs and you still inside the country, please hold on. Also hold on to change. Also be obedient with what that kind of opportunity or that job that you have right now, so that no one else can take up that role. Because remember, there are also new people within the country so whenever you have to do whatever you have to talk whenever you will have to do to the company will take a decision and they will take over you they will take out of you and they will just fit in someone who's new at that time so probably make sure that you are doing what is right at one or the other at one or the other to avoid whatever kind of thing because 
right now there are people outside these countries uh, trying so hard to come in so for you you have you still have the opportunity within the country so hold it hold it to that to hold until the situation gets to normalize in one way or the other then you can think of changing or even going to wherever you have to go in one way or the other but for a moment it's my humble advice you get on and hold on at one way or the other then something else um, number four we look at what you call vacations yes there are a lot of vacations People are now taking up vacations by force. To some companies, now vacations are by force. You have to go in one water. Remember, when we are talking about the workforce, we are talking about the excess workforce that was recruited due to FIFA World Cup uh, project uh, 2022. And very many people, and very many people of very many companies are being recruited. And you remember, some companies, I told you later uh, before, I told you, not all companies recruited people as thinking of what you call six months or three months. There are other companies which we are given an exclusive quota and they recruited people as far as what you call six, uh, what you call uh, two year work visas. For example, we can look at some of the security companies. They have more people or they have more workforce at one moment of time. So, what do, what, what do they have to know to? to to do is that they will definitely tend to take to kind of dispose of what you call the surplus labor or make sure give out a vacation to a few people especially the old people that have not got of their vacations such as they can give a, a, a cup or they can give a louder for these other new people also to get a particular roles or to get uh, places where to work until they kind of finalize they can the situation can come back to normal and look for what we call new projects in one way or the other Thanks so much for coming back to general. Remember, this makes for the next question. Always giving you the updates. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing and supporting this channel by clicking the notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We are looking at the road to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all this year. Thank you so much for the support. 2022, guys, I'm very happy wherever you may be in Uganda and Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, uh, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Gambia, you are in uh, Rwanda, you are in um, Bangladesh, you are in Nepal, you are in Kenya, you are in Uganda, you are all over Africa, you are all over the continent for people who have supported me until now. I thank you so much may god just bless you and what i have to let you know is that happy new year maybe you receive whatever you have to get in this happy new year thank you so much see you again in the next video